Hello there, so when I test the LIGO T5C I noticed that apparently some devices are delivered with a firmware that doesn't get OTA updates. Now in the review of this phone I promised to deliver a tutorial on how to update the firmware to a most recent version so you can get future OTA updates and that's actually very simple. To start you go to needrom.com this is this website as you can see and then here in the upper search bar you enter Lego T5C and then you scroll down a bit and then you will see this entry ROM Lego T5C official updated and here you see a list of ROMs you of course need to log in otherwise you won't see them so if you don't have an account there you need to sign up first and then you select the most recent firmware, which is uh, this one, 2018.0.124. And then you just download the ROM file. I'm going to choose the Europe server here. Let's save that. And then you also need to download the flash tool, which is this upgrade download entry here. Click on it. Select a server again and save that and then wait for the downloads to finish. All right, so now my downloads have finished and I have opened the download folder. And now we have two compressed files. I'm gonna unzip them using 7-zip. So I'm gonna choose um, unpack files. And for the second one, the very same. And then I just wait for the unpacking process to finish. So now my files are unpacked. So we have the flash tool, which is this one. And we have the actual ROM file in here, which is a .pac file. So to start, we're gonna enter into the folder with the flash tool. And here we'll see some more archives to unpack. So what we're going to do here is to unpack the upgrade download archive and then we also unpack the driver. Next you enter this driver folder and inside this one you will see a two install files, one for 32-bit systems and one for 64-bit systems. I'm running a 64-bit window, so I'm going to install this one. Just double-click on it, then click on Next and Finish. I had already installed the drivers, so this went fairly quickly. Then I go back to the um, root folder and choose the folder with the actual flash tool. Here I enter the binary folder and then I look for the executable for this flash tool and here it is upgrade download and I'm going to right click on it and then choose run as administrator select yes and here is the flash tool so now we need to load the firmware file into the flash tool to do so you simply click on this gear icon and then you can select your ROM file which is in downloads in my case this is the folder with the ROM file, click, double click on it and then select the .pac file and click open. And now it's verifying the firmware file. And what you want to do next is to turn off your phone, wait until it's completely turned off, it will vibrate then. And uh, then you simply click once this firmware file is loaded onto the play button on top here. And then you hold the volume down button on your phone and plug in the USB cable that is attached to your computer. So that's just a message of my virtual machine. You can ignore that. And as you can see, now it starts flashing. And that's really it. Now you just need to wait until the flashing process has finished. And once that's done, you are on the most recent firmware. So that's already it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful for you. And see you soon with more. Bye bye.